What is up everyone? Welcome to another video. Guys, today I'm over here in the Palm Jumeirah, joined by none other than Usman Sayyid. Hi guys. Guys, today we are going to go and check out Palm View Tower. Yes, Palm View Tower is actually the tallest tower in the Palm, which also has the highest observatory deck in the Palm. So we're going to actually go there and check out what the hype's about. Check out what the hype's about, check out the history of the Palm and how the Palm actually came into existence. And then we're going to go show you guys the residences. So. Let's head off to the Palm View Tower. Let's go. So guys, we're here at the Nakhil Mall right now. We're with Tiona, the sales manager. Thank you very much. She'll be explaining more about the tower and the Nakhil Mall to us. Thank you so much for taking your time and visiting us. I'm so glad to show the, uh, the building around. So we are located uh, just in the middle of the Palm. It's the tallest building in the Palm. It's a luxury. So it's attached on the Nakhil Mall, which is very convenient for a living. We have a, a St. Regis Hotel, the so five-star hotel. So guys, we have the Reg St. Regis yes. Hotel over here, which is a really high-end brand. Uh, yeah. Obviously, brings a lot of luxury aspect to the tower Definitely. as well. Definitely. So it's going to be operational very soon, in a month or two maximum. We're waiting for the grand opening, and then we're going to have above 90 floor. We're going to have pure residential, fully furnished apartments. And I can guarantee you, there is no wrong view. <laughs> Just the view is amazing. There is no competitive view on that the palm true. from any of building. Rather, you get the, like a full palm with all the fronts from the two and the three bedroom apartments. Some of the one beds as well has this view. And then you get the studio one beds on the side with amazing view. Rather, you have a uh, blue water, GBR marina view or wow. Jumeirah, you know, right there there on the yes. TV. Check that out. And guys, we're actually going to go upstairs to the observatory deck, which is actually the highest observatory deck in Palm for sure, and one of the highest and one of in the, the world. highest in the world. One of the as highest well, in the world. So, so the views are super nice. We have entire views of the Palm, the skyline. Beautiful sunset we're gonna catch, by Beautiful the way. It's a time hopefully. already. And the visitors, it's already operational, so it's already functioning. It's open directly from the Nakhil Mall. You can just take the elevator and go visit the observation deck and the view hold beautiful views from the, of the palm. Um, I have many more to say, so why okay. don't we go now? <laughs> because there's a lot more details about the tower that we'll be sharing with you guys soon. But first, let's go upstairs and check out the observatory because those views are stunning. Let's go guys. So there's a ticket to go upstairs to the observatory but it's well worth it because you don't just get to go to the observatory but you go, get to go through an entire experience center showing the history of the farm, how the farm was built and all that cool stuff. Guys, this is an actual aquarium, a virtual aquarium at the foot of showing you the flora and fauna found underneath the palm. That's it. That's a whale. What? Is that a whale or a shark? 
Shark. That's a shark. That's Nemo. Guys, I found Nemo. Is that not Nemo? Ah, it looks like Nemo. Hi, how are you? So guys, this is actually like a virtual reality. Yes. This is the shoreline of Dubai. You step on it. And now you have to step on this. Now check this out. Guys, this entire experience takes you guys through the entire journey of how the Palm Jumeirah came into existence. I mean, think about it. An island in the middle of the sea, all under the vision and patronage of His Highness Sheikh, Sheikh Muhammad. Like literally, this is something, I mean, literally putting in sand into the sea. Something really, really cool. So next, guys, we're going to check out the video of how the palm was actually built. So it's a really good piece of information, guys. Check it out. some interesting history about the history of Dubai. This is a sample of the massive boulder that was used to protect the island of the Palm Jumeirah. Each rock weighed up to six tons, which basically formed the breakwater. So this is how, you know, they had these satellite images that first chose the plot of the palm and then through satellite imagery and GPS they actually located where to keep each of these rocks to create that crescent shape and wave breaker around the palm. Lots of technology has gone into actually choosing this location and actually bringing you this island that looks in the shape of a palm tree which a lot of you, people like myself take it for granted now. So guys, this is actually the original master plan for the Palm Jumeirah. And then this is how the island took shape. In 2001, we had this little bit piece over here, 2002, Actually, 2003, 2004 is when most of the work actually happened. And then 2005, it pretty much took the final shape that it exists in right now. So guys, some interesting facts about the palm. The crescent is about 11 kilometers in length. And the palm tower is 240 meters in height, including the view at the palm and the 360 degree observation deck, which is home to the St. Regis, Dubai. Let's go upstairs and let's check out what this view is all about. Finally, we're gonna go upstairs and check out the views. You can see actually like how fast it is going. This is like a so the actual the oh, one. Really yeah. Nice. Yeah, because this is the actual the buildings outside, right? And guys, we're going up to the 52nd floor. Let's see how many seconds this takes. We're already there. Ten seconds. Wow. Hello. Hello. How no, are no, you? No. Thank you. And here we go. That's the view. Wow. So amazing. This doesn't look real. <laughs> oh guys, the views over here are stunning. I love how the glass that they've made is like sort of tilted. I check out these steps. No, check out these steps. When you come up on the step, it actually looks like you're right above and then you're right over here and it's pretty cool. Just amazing having this uh, the one bedroom apartment, two bedroom or three bed overlooking this view and it's a new year night. Yeah, that would be pretty sick. Oh wow, you can zoom in. Can you look inside the front villas? Yeah, you can. <laughs> and I want to see. Oh wow. Hey, yeah, that's the 22 carat villas. So guys, this observatory is actually a 360 degree observatory. So from here, you can actually see all the different sides of the Palm Tower. So if you buy an apartment over here, obviously like Tiona mentioned earlier, you can actually have an apartment facing this side or the other side, but there's literally every side that has its own charm. From here, we actually see the Blue Water Island, the entire skyline of Dubai, 
obviously the Palm Jumeirah of France. And on the other side, you get a glimpse of the Burj Khalifa and uh, the skyline of downtown. Let's go to the other side as well. So as you can see guys, the observatory deck is open for the public and a lot of tourists are coming over here. We're just starting to learn about the place. Obviously, if you're in the residences, then it's totally separate from this section as well. But we have obviously the same views from the tower as well. So check we this out. We have a beautiful 80 hut park huh? and down here. All oh, that's the Etihad down, Park? Yes. Oh, that's what you call the Etihad Park? Yes. Yeah, it's fun fact. That's the Etihad Park and under you the have monorail. A lot of, yes, and then you have a lot of definitely the beach clubs and we're going to have on the west side the yeah. beach club specifically for this building but, but even over here the for views are for residents. phenomenal this was a view i was promising you there is no any other place you can get this three into one which is the Arab arabian gulf the dubai skyline and the palm jumeirah view that just to look at the view please that's so amazing we're on the 52 floor, which is the observation deck on the top of the Palm Tower. And we have the one level down, the very well-known international restaurant Sushi Samba everybody loves. Oh, Sushi Samba is <laughs> opening up here, guys. Uh, a right. very famous restaurant from London. And uh, actually, I don't know if it's from London, but I've had it in London before. Yeah. And then we have on the 50th floor, the one of the largest Aura swimming pool, which I talked about before, even it's a 350 degree, like the panoramic view, what you have seen now of the Arabian Gulf and okay. the skyline and all this development around. So you have everything there. Wow. So you I'm can... excited to go check it out. So guys, now that you guys have seen the observatory deck, you guys have seen the experience center. You guys have hopefully learned a little bit more about how the bomb island came into existence now it's time to go finally check out the apartments because that's what we're all here for right to sell some real estate and we have a beautiful selection of studios one bedrooms and two bedrooms and the three bedrooms and three bedrooms <laughs> but what we're going to go check out right now is the one bedroom because that in my opinion is one of the nicest uh one bedrooms and one of the most spacious one bedrooms and one with some of the best views of dubai so let's go check those out You just knock it okay. and I'll open it. <laughs> no, no, it looks too fake. We're all coming together. Yeah. In the video, we're all coming together. No, no, no. You, no, come you can say it all this okay. weekend. <laughs> so, guys, Tuna really wanted to go in and open the door. So, she's asked me to do this. So, I'll do it. FBI, open up! Oh, hi, Farah. Hi, Tuna. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> this is planned it, right? <laughs> yes, 100%. So 1,055 square feet, one bedroom apartment. This is a minimal size. Oh, guys, we clear. First, before we get to this video, guys, yes. this place smells really, really nice. Is this yes. going to be the smell throughout the building? Yes. Wow, so the it's... colors and the finishing is done as a St. Regis hotel. Wow. It's a fully equipped, fully fitted. You have a powder room oh, here really for nice. the guests. You have a small storage room here, which is very comfortable for living. And then you have a beautiful living room, which is overlooking the marina area. It's fully furnished, fully equipped very high quality finishing, nice cozy living area and the bedroom and the walk-in closet and the huge massive oh, bathroom which let's I love. Like this out. By the Please. way, oh wow, look at these views guys. And we're only on the 21st floor? We are on 21st floor. Oh, check and out the this skyline. And you're getting the sunset as well. And we have apartments up to 47th floor. As higher as you go, as better view you have. Yeah, right. By the way, what I really like about this is that the ceiling height is very high. How yes, high is the ceiling? It's uh, 3.2 meters high. 3.2, yeah, yes, it feels it. It feels a lot more spacious and airy. And you have a windows, which is very good. So you don't have a, a balcony, marble. but you have it's a, a window. Marble, huh? Yes, nice. we use the marble, the European marble. And then you can open up so you can refresh the air. It's not like the of only course. central uh, air conditioning. Also, by the way, 1,055 square feet is quite big for a one bed. It's huge for a one bed. Wait, first of all, check out this closet, so guys. Proper walk-in closet. Beautiful. So ample space in your walk-in wardrobe. So this is an amazing room, which is a full bathroom. You have a beautiful bus tub. You have a double sink all this area shower and the toilet separate so it feels like 
separate separate spa. <laughs> oh, very very nice. I mean, the size is huge. You have a beautiful uh, bathtub. The marble yes. used everywhere. And, and you have a set. shower, a standard shower with a rain head. Very nice. And I like the fact that it's full marble. Guys, you guys really have to come here to visit uh, us here at the Palm Tower to really understand the kind of finishing and the kind of quality that's being used. So, do you know what are the sizes for the different categories of apartments? The studio goes around 523 square feet. The one bedroom starts from 1,055. It goes up to 1,155 square oh, wow. feet. Uh, very special. Very special size. Yes, and then we have a two bedroom, which is around 1,950 to 2,200 square wow, feet. Wow, that's the size and of the a bigger, definitely three bed. Three bed and a four bed in exactly. many areas of Dubai. So that's a very, very special size for a one bed, and two you bed. And special views from everywhere. So I hope you guys enjoyed the tour of the Palm View Tower and I hope you guys learned a little bit more about this magnificent island called the Palm Jumara. For more information on this tower and for the properties that you guys just saw, check out the description below. And guys, like every time, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Until I see you guys next time for another great video.